All right, what the word I can't say in the first how many seconds of the video is up, everybody. My name is the Double, but you can just call me Dell. And welcome back, week three, Prep Hub Draft League. Whew, this is gonna be a good one. There's no Smeargle, there is a Thwacky. That's fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, taking on DJS this week. Um, yeah, team's pretty good here. We're 0-2 to start off the season after a brutal last turn, 1 HP loss last week. So, fingers crossed we can bounce back from this. Uh, I'm actually not too certain of his lead here. I do want to lead Chomp. I just don't want to lead Chomp into something like the Ments. Um, or the Luna. There's no rocks on his side of the field either. We could just lead Ambipom. Ambipom seems to be able to hit everything. There's no Scizor either. Interesting. You know what? We're going to lead Ambi. Uh, I was really hoping for Smeargle. You know, they face that in Mox a little bit. But, yeah. Let's see here. All right. Good luck. Have fun to DJS. I believe it's DJS or it's DJs. I don't really know. Um... Wonderful up-and-coming battler, very talented individual. Uh, took part in some BBRD League games as of late and uh, has had a wonderful season up until this point. So um, very much looking forward to taking him on today. Okay, let's see. Crowbar, that is the Mian Xiao lead, which is kind of okay. Uh, we do outspeed. If it's Scarf Xiao, though, this is not ideal. I kind of want to just go into Zapdos. Uh... Just to scout, I feel like if he stays in, it's definitely, definitely scarfed. Uh, I apologize if you can hear the idiots in my hallway right now. I have no clue what the hell is going on there, but you know, apartment living, ladies and gentlemen, that's where it's at. Uh, it does switch out, so I'm gonna presume not scarfed after seeing my uh, my ambipom come out so early. And now we do see Screamadelic. Now, this is an opportunity. I am just gonna volt switch here. If he does want to go into the bear, that's fine. Uh, we do have Bram. Bramble Ghast in the back. Rocks do go up, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, I did bring Leftover Zapdos this week. I did need the extra HP um, into something like a D-Dance uh, D-Dance thingy. Uh, the Roaring Moon, not Salamence. Different Pokemon. Um, so I do like that damage into this, honestly. A um, couple different options. We could go into the Bramble Ghast. Uh, does offer up actually a fair bit of you know what? I actually like Bramble Ghast here. Because <laughs> Screen Tail. Defensive Screen Tail into my Bramble Ghast. Good old Steezy. Um, we're absolutely going to pick up the KO here. The Wacky, I guess, could come in. Or the Bear. The Bear could come in, but the Bear's not faster than me. Uh, I'm going to Skitter Smack on, on him switching. We do see the swap. I'm going to assume Roaring Moon. I'd love to see Roaring Moon here. Mayhem. That sounds like a Roaring Moon nickname. That's a Roaring Moon. This should be about 50%. Skitter Smack. Whap. <clears throat> Big damage. Love to see it. You get the special attack drop. Now, uh, Roaring Moon being in this range for us, really nice. Um, obviously, we did not see the Proto Synthesis. Yeah, no Proto out of this thing. So, a couple things it could be. Don't really want to mess around with it too much, though. I think we just go into... Our Zapdos, we're going to take rocks, but our Zap is in a okay position at that point. We do see the withdraw on Mayhem. So back into Zap, goes back into Crowbar, which is great for us. Um, kind of a perfect position to be in here. We are going to be, uh, you know, a little susceptible to something along the lines of like a knockoff or a triple axel at this point. Um, but we know not Scarf. Leftover is going to pop. It's going to pull me up to 309 which gives me the position, uh, I guarantee live any hit this thing wants to fire off. A hurricane's gonna do a lot of damage to anything coming in. I do force KOs on most things, so I am just gonna hurricane here. Triple Axel, I'm gonna live this. Hopefully we can get a static in the middle of it and no crits come our way. Static would be awesome. No static, but that means we're hitting hurricane. Duh, so this should pick up the KO unless we see AV. Nice, so we get rid of the man shout early. I do have Roost available on this. So Roost is, is a potential play. I don't super need this anymore, and Ambi, or Heracross can come in in Revenge. I do think, like with what's in the back, yeah, Mian Xiao's dead, so there's there's not a super necessity for this. There is that Tentacruel, though. How do we deal with the Tentacruel? Earthquake, Garchomp, yeah, we're still fine. Uh, I'm gonna Roost here. 
I'm gonna roost. <laughs> Dragon Claw, hopefully we can get the static proc. There it is, that's nice. All right, Heracross is super open to come in now. Do we see Lum? We do see the Lum, okay, that's fair. So, it is what it is, nothing we can super do about it. Earthquake should pick up the KO because of the Skitter Smack damage into Roaring Moon. So I'm actually gonna go into the Heracross here. Um, it'll be a neutral click, but that's fine. Earthquake will absolutely pick up any KO. Uh, he doesn't really have a super great switch into this. Um, I could Smart Strike and try to catch the... <sighs> the thing coming in, but if I don't pick up the KO, that's really, really bad for me. Um, I think Earthquake is just the safe mid-ground play. So we're going to fire off Earthquake. This should pick up the KO based on the damage of everything else. Yep, there it goes. We're going to get our Moxie boost. So now we are plus one Heracross. Locked into Earthquake. Um, Screamtail. Defensive Screamtail. Earthquake at plus one is going to do 40 to 47%. Jungle Rot comes out the Silly Monkey Man, which is fine by me. Uh, I'm not super scared of this thing, uh, if I'm being honest with you. Um, it is cool that he brings it out to reduce my Earthquake damage, and it's kind of a neat bring into the Garchomp. Um, I am Fire Fang on Garchomp and Poison Jab, though, because I knew that there would be some, you know, if there was some shenanigans, Scizor had a chance of coming, as well as uh, that Screamtail. So if I can get a Scale Shot off, um, we can just win the game now. I'm going to Ambipom here. He's the most expendable. Um, I want to keep Bramblegast around for the uh, the moon. So we're going Ambipom. Chris Breezy. I woke up Chris Breezy. Oh my god, I'm the man. Yeah, good chip damage. That's fine. E-Belt comes off. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, we do see my HP get restored first. Now, uh, we still have a chance to kill. I'm clicking triple axle. He glides. This shouldn't KO. One. A two, and a big one. Shit. All right, that's unfortunate. Does just glide again, that's fine by me. We trade monkey for monkey, respectable. Uh, we're gonna put this thing at about, I'm gonna say 65%. Um, Poison Jab's not gonna pick up the KO, but he doesn't really have anything that he can click into my Garchomp to kill me. Uh, I didn't bring Bug Move, which does suck a little bit. Uh, I could go Greninja, but I don't really wanna get hit up with uh, anything crazy. I mean, CC is super, super nice right now. I'm gonna go Garchomp though. Get the poison, it's awesome. Now, in a perfect world, I am hoping maybe we see Screentail. Cult of Luna, that's not Screentail, that's the Ursa Luna. That's a little unfortunate. Jab comes out, minimal damage. Bramblegast is in actually a pretty good position here. Um, it just really depends on item slot here. We do see Blood Moon. We should take one. Yep, we lived. Perfect. All right, that's why we brought AV, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, it worked. Okay, we're cool. Unfortunately, Grassy Terrain does disappear from the field. Um, but Power Whip in this situation is going to do a lot to almost anything. And I don't think the... Th the wacky will be able to revenge me all too well. So um, I'm going to power whip. If he wants to go thwacky, that's fine. This is going to do a ton of damage. Nice, great chunk. And now this super opens up our Garchomp as well as our uh, Greninja, which is super, super nice. You know, Garchomp to come in and kind of clean up here. I actually think Chomp can do it at this point with scale shot um, with the right amount of scale shot hits, you know into into this uh scale shot doing 39 to 46 percent we'll go plus one speed and even if he wants to go into the screen tail afterwards i'm not too worried we're gonna scale shot here does withdraw if he wants to go into the screen tail that's fine nope goes back into the uh this thing it's actually objectively better for me because now i get a little bit of extra hp restore Two, three, four. Give me four so he doesn't think I'm loaded dice. Shit. Okay, five. Uh, so he's going to get a little bit of chip off on me, which does suck a little bit with that grassy glide. Um, I'm minus one defense. It, it could be a little 
a bit of damage that comes out. Does withdraw. I'd love to see the jig. King K rule. Okay. Goes into the tentacruel. So that's a little unfortunate. Earthquake, uh, grassy terrain is up. So Earthquake is only going to do 54 to 64. Now, does this have Ice Beam? If it's weakness policy and like something else, then that's super unfortunate. That's a low roll, so he must be, or he's like really physically invested, which, which sucks a little bit, but that's fine. He has to play around me at this point. He's gonna have to keep sacking pieces and pieces and pieces. Um, Life Orb Greninja at this point looks really, really good. So uh, we just need to keep, we just need a little bit of chip, chip onto this specific Pokemon and we can win the game. Jab's gonna come out. We are gonna see the Poison Berry, but that's fine because this still opens it up for Gren. Little bit of chip, nothing major. We do get the Poison, which is super nice. We should live any hit from this screen tail at this point. I'm kind of hoping he wishes. Does just Gleam, we're gonna live this. Yep, that's good. HP comes back. This is really good for me. I'm I'm very happy with how this is going at this point. I'm gonna fire off another jab. Obviously, we just need to keep things chipped. Like the everything everything in the back right now loses to Greninja as soon as I change my typing. Um, as long as I don't get grassy glided, I'm good. And Heracross can also clean at this point too, uh, which is awesome. Yep, great damage. We might see Wish. Note gleams again. We should live. Nice. I'll get my HP back. Now, the last thing I really want to do here is give him, like, Ursa Luna for free. So I am going to Earthquake this turn. Um, just on him maybe wanting to preserve this. Nope, we do get the EQ off, though, which is great. Nice. So the Grookies, or the Thwackies, going to come in after this. And then, realistically, it's just... Get off, uh, get off Greninja, and we're in a wonderful position. Glide, I take the damage, that's fine. Rough skin, do we get the KO? Right, rough skin doesn't work if it, if it's, uh, oh, it does! Okay, cool. I was worried, I didn't see his health bar go away, so I was like, uh, did I win the game? Did I lose the game? Um, but no, that's, that's great, which means at this point we can go into Drizzy. Um, Life Orb, Greninja, that's Protean. Um, into, yeah, Tentacruel. Even a max HP Tentacruel doesn't want to take an extra sensory. Uh, so I'm going to click extra sensory. We're going to transform into a psychic type. And then no matter what, we win this game because I have Scarf, Moxie, Heracross on the back. That's going to be a win, baby. We are so fucking back. Let's go. Oh, I'm pumped on that, guys. You have no idea. Ugh, I thought I was so stressed out. I was like, man, I'm washed. I'm washed. I'm washed. But something about this build, I got back with a couple of the old buddies, chatted it out with them, you know, talked it over, really, really went over some stuff I wanted to improve upon. And I think I genuinely did that. I really am proud of this, this build. I'm going to Ice Beam so I don't miss Hydro Pump and lose this game in Differential. Um... We're going to pick up the KO. That's going to be the fucking game. Let's go. I think I played super well, too. I prepped well. The Bramble Gas was awesome. AV Bramble Gas worked out perfectly to take the Blood Moon hit. It did the exact amount of damage I needed to the Air Saluna. GG's to DJ. Uh, wonderful game. Very well played. I had a lot of stress going through that build. The Thwacky kind of threw me off, too. I've yet to correctly predict my opponent's team going into one of these games, so super stressful on that part, but yeah. Uh, GG's, thank you guys so much for walking, uh, walking, walking to my video and clicking like and subscribe. Thank you to all the channel members. Uh, you guys, I really, really appreciate your support. Thanks to Kurt for uh, editing these videos and doing my thumbnails. I really appreciate you too, boss. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, we stay alive. We're one and two now. Let's ride this momentum. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Much love. Bye-bye.